Hi guys, Sebastian Inviteri here from Hill Inviteri Property with our weekly market snapshot. Now, we have been discussing uh, factors that affect uh, the property market as it pertains to price. Uh, over the last couple of weeks, we've discussed supply and demand, uh, and last week we discussed the media. Uh, this week, uh, I'd like to have a look at a different topic for you, being government policy. Now, uh, government policy can affect uh, the property market um, and I guess decisions to purchase. And probably the best example I can give of this was uh, last year's elections. Uh, what I mean by that was there were uh, local, state and federal elections in the space of about six months. Uh, most importantly, or most notably, the federal election, which caused buyers to hesitate um, in anticipation of a change of government. So we had a coalition government heading into the election. Uh, if I recall correctly, uh, the market was so uh, sure that the Labor government was going to get into power that sports bet actually paid out early on this. Uh, but the coalition government uh, was retained um, and this saw confidence grow uh, amongst buyers post-election. Now, the reason for that is that uh, Labor had campaigned around changes to uh, policy uh, for things like negative gearing uh, and property taxes. So investors were quite hesitant uh, to, to enter the market, uh, not knowing how that would impact uh, their investments. So government policy to look out for now, uh, coming through uh, the pandemic, um, obviously we're now in a recession, um, the government will likely uh, create policy that will stimulate the property market. Um, if you recall the GFC, um, we had interest rates of around about a variable rate of close to 10% at the time, uh, within a quick space, approximately six months, uh, the RBA reduced interest rates down to a uh, very low level. I think the variable came down to close to 5%, um, which I think it's down to about 3% now. Um, coupled with a no stamp duty and the doubling of the first home owner's grant. So we saw a real ignition in the low end of the property market through um, the installation of government policy, which uh, promoted or stimulated the first home buyer market. And then that had a domino effect through the other price ranges over a period of time. And that, that lit a fire that ran for many, many years through to probably the end of 2017. So guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, this um, episode of our snapshot. Um, please, if you have any questions in regards to uh, this video or any other topics, please let us know uh, and like and share if you've enjoyed the content. Thank you.